All right, welcome back everyone for another video. Uh, my name is Bat, and today we're going to look at, um, yeah, what I've been doing lately with um, potentially a next project. Well, it is the next project. I'm gonna um, uh, introduce you to um, something that we picked up maybe a couple of weeks ago. I haven't had a chance really to, to do anything with it because I was working on the Integra and now that's, that is, well, the news is that is now gone. Uh, that was a quick sale. Um, so I didn't really get a chance to do any more than that other than just a few mods on it. And then, yeah, someone came and uh, picked it up really, really quickly on the same day that I had it up on um, Facebook. So, yeah, we'll see what the next project is in a minute. But, yeah, um, decided that um, because I've started a new job, uh, I've now got a bit less time to do some videos, so uh, less time to work on um, some of these projects as well. So I've actually asked one of my um, uh, car friends, uh, car mates, uh, you know, to maybe, you know, chip in and see um, if, it, if this is something that he wants to help out with. And sure enough, he is uh, definitely keen. So his name is Jad, and he owns a uh, Mark IV. And the rule is you need to be, you need to own a Mark IV. Uh, only, I'm joking, but he's got a VR6 Bora. Was that? Well, that's like a Jetta shape for the, all the US guys. Um, and it's got a 2.8 VR6, 150 kilowatts, 200 horsepower for the for the statewide guys or Europe. Um, and yeah, it goes pretty good. Looks quite nice as well with uh, his setup. Uh, we'll have to introduce uh, the car into the channel one day just to show everyone what that looks like. Um, but in terms of the next project, uh, will be another Golf. So this one I saw and bought sight unseen, and it's quite it's quite a project because um, it needs it needs some loving. Like its panels are dented, and when you know buying stuff online or buying stuff. Um, from Facebook market you, you never know what you're gonna get and this time it was a little bit you know he didn't mention any of these things um, so I'll go through the, the good parts and the, the bad parts good part is engines nice it turns on um, and it runs relatively well um, with you know a few boost leaks or vacuum leaks here and there okay I'll go and switch it on. I haven't switched it on for a week or so now, so here we go. There we go. It's turned on. Yep. Give it another crank. There you go. I reckon it's because of the boost leak, but that's just me. Um, but yeah, you can hear the console is clicking. And that's because um, I changed the, the first thing I did was change that, that's easy, uh, but that's because of the indicator stalk. That's just, yeah, it's just messed up um, from investigation. So I need one of these, going to have to find some time to go to the wreckers and find a, um, a what is it called, a cruise control version of it. Um, the car's filthy, it's missing these trims which I have right here. And then I'm just going to just glue it on again, I think. Looks pretty bent, so I might just use my own one, I'm not sure. We'll see how we go. The car's filthy, I need to do a deep clean on it. Um, clean it out initially, and then do a uh, maybe a steam clean or, or a wet vac clean. Clean all the dust out of it. Um, broken door grabs, which I'll change. This still works, that's good. It's got books. That's a bonus. <coughs> Hey, so dusty in here. Um, radio works, still an OEM radio. Um, yeah, that, oh, that click is so annoying. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to clean it up. There's body panels that need to be fixed. So engine's good. Just want to show you the engine. Electrics seem okay, except for that indicator stalk. That, the guy didn't tell me, which was a dog move. Um, really should have said something about all the imperfections and things that were wrong with the car. I mean, I know I would have. Um, what else is there? Um, the bumper looks worse for wear, but you know, might just leave that 
um, or just try and polish it all out but this this door needs to be changed this door actually is completely different like it's black magic and it looks like it's from a golf gl or non gti because it's not matching the door grabs either so that's quite interesting and that is loose so i'm gonna have to find out you know how we get that all up and running again brakes no oh, the guy said it was on its way out but it's full so that'll pass road ready tires are cooked tires are wrong um yeah i'm wondering what nice center caps though um these tires are completely wrong for it <laughs> that's really interesting um what are they they're like 215s they're too small you need you need you know wider tires or, or thicker tires actually so I'll, I'll we'll consider keeping those but just oh but look at the fitment it's just, it's just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think I might try and find some OEM tyres for it. OEM wheels, maybe an S3 LTT or something nice. There's a dent there, so you know, we'll try and knock that out or maybe just change the fender. But this whole side, every panel has something wrong with it, which is annoying. The other side also has a bit of a scrape on the other side, which I can't show you. The engine. Um, sunroom, sunroof works, I think. Um, engine is sort of cleanish. It needs a bit more of a uh, a wash, I'd say. There's a lot of mud. I don't know what he's done here. There's a lot of mud going through here. Um, but it, yeah, it fires up. No problems. That's all that matters in here. So I'm going to have to clean this clean this engine bay but look it's it's probably running like shit because like this is all cracked and broken that doesn't go to anywhere and someone tried to tape it like what it's a boost hose it's a uh, yeah it's just it's, it's funny that one uh so someone tried to glue that as well oh holy shit that doesn't even fucking work Look at that so there's a few interesting things there with that um, well wow. yeah I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to change that I think this has been has someone changed that before no it's still stuck okay well needs a diverter valve I need to fix this huge leak coming from down here um what else is there i think that's it is that cracked no it's not cracked dipstick is cracked yes i need a new dipstick diverter valve dipstick there's a few things that i need to change but otherwise it's um it's not too bad so yeah, looks like I'm in it for the diverter valve, so let's go look for that. Alright guys, so new diverter valve, I've got to tighten this up. New hose, this is temporary because this will expand over time. New hose to the, uh, um, what's it, what do you call it, uh, fuel pressure regulator. Um, let me try and zip tie this down. I want to zip tie everything down, but that's I think that's as good as it gets. Yeah, that's all done. New hoses, new no more cracks that I can see. I'm gonna have to spray all this down again because this is all pretty gross still. But yeah, look, pain in the ass to get to. I had to use a pick um, to pick out the little clips, screwdriver. These are just like it was just breaking it just disintegrated in my hand like this is you know that's just 20 years worth of heat cycling so when someone's done a this is the repair for the boost leak right so let's get rid of this crap 
someone might think that's part up. Oh, this is some other, you know, fix by the looks of it. Some glue. All right, I'm going to zip tie everything out of the way. All right, so I have zip tied everything out of the way. Um, there's new hoses going to the fuel pressure regulator, which uh, controls the uh, amount of fuel going into the engine while it's on boost. So that's important. Uh, making sure that there's not any more oil leaks around. Um, but yeah, so uh, I've got the new uh, vacuum hose, vacuum boost hose to the diverter valve. And that's gonna that's a replacement diverter valve that I've put in there, new clips in there, so that part is good. Should start and idle fine now. Let me just quickly fire that up. Alrighty. Alright, so there you have it. Runs fine. Um, engine's a little bit dusty, but you know, that's just the age of the car. Um, did my best to clean it up as much as possible, but now it's starting fine, idle fine, no leaks. Oh, that's good. Can't hear any leaks, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I can't see anything else that's wrong with it though. Next up for the engine, I'm going to do the um, timing belt because I don't know how long that's been there for. Um, I'll be doing a service on it to so fill, uh, sorry, fill oil filter. I'll change the um, oil and filter. I'll do the timing belt. And yeah, that should be, that should bring it back to healthiness. Sounds like a bit, oh, there's a dipstick that's completely snapped. That needs to be changed, we've ordered a new uh, dipstick. Um, uh, that's going to be all for the engine bay, there's no more leaks that I can see. Um, engine and, 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 you know, everything seems to be running fine. Uh, the brakes are good, surprisingly. It's got lots of pad life for front and rear. The only thing I need to do is to change the control arm bushes because they're, they're cracked in there. So we've ordered some new control arms. So that, you know, the whole suspension needs to go down. Well, I need to jack it up and remove the control arm and replace it. But otherwise, yeah, coming along nicely. Um, then we're going to source um, the door panel, front and rear, and I think that should be for exterior. I've got a few more bits and pieces, but I'm not sure if I'm going to put on to this car or not. We'll see how we go. It is looking a lot more cleaner than when I first bought it. Even the interior, when I gave it a nice vac, has come up really well. Sprayed everything down, cleaned up as much as I could. Um, front. Looking heaps nicer now, so well, that's it for now. Take you guys along the journey. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe, leave a comment if you'd like, um, you know, or don't. That's totally cool as well. Um, yeah, I've um, looking to show you how I replaced the indicator stalk as well, so that's coming in a new video. Um, but otherwise, thank you, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Smoke my back, who's smoke my- <coughs>